Um, so, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, I will talk about um, stochastic calculus in Rust. So, actually, this is a kind of introduction of the uh, open source uh, community uh, create uh, what I'm working on. Uh, some words about me. Uh, I'm currently working as a software engineer and uh, as a researcher at uh, at the University of Budapest, uh, and I'm also a member of the Risk Lab. Um, I have a degree in financial mathematics, and I'm currently a PhD candidate in computational applied mathematics. My research focuses fractional stochastic processes and volatility modeling uh, in finance. Uh, and of course, uh, the maintainer of the current uh, package, what about I want to uh, talk a bit. So why um, stochastic errors? Um, this is actually a pure uh, Rust rate for hard, high performance um, simulation and analysis of stochastic processes. Um, from performance perspective, um, I try to use uh, parallel computing, parallel path generation via the RAM crate. Uh, there are also um, a lot of uh, synth acceleration. Um, the crate provides um, uh, around this alternative using the byte uh, crate for synth uh, acceleration. There are also some uh, CUDA uh, acceleration for uh, certain process generations. And uh, I also uh, was able to improve the performance of the generation uh, using different uh, memory allocator like gemalloc and uh, using some OS specific uh, compiler settings. Um, here is a, um, uh, a blog post, uh, Speed Up My Financial Mathematics Creates in Rust. Uh, it is available in my, on my blog uh, and it will provide some more details how I was able to achieve uh, in detail to improve the performance. So my, actually my motivation behind my uh, grade, um, so as I mentioned, my uh, fo uh, research focus is on fractional stochastic processes. The basic uh, process in that field is this fractional Brownian motion. It's a more general um, uh, type of the normal Brownian motion. So this process is not uh, semi-martingale. Uh, we can use the classic Ito calculus. So this is actually the, the basic rough path theory, uh, how we can modeling the stock market and different financial um, uh, asset dynamics uh, on the market. And the fractional uh, processes data can give us a more real world um, picture about how the, the market uh, actually is working. Um, so yeah, this is some uh, more detailed uh, theory about fractional processes, why is that semi-martingale, why is uh, more complicated, like just uh, a normal, uh, ordinary Brownian motion. And of course, there are some alternative integration framework, how we can deal with uh, uh, fractional processes. Mm -hmm. So about uh, my crate actually, and why uh, I was using Rust. So I'm using Rust uh, almost uh, for my uh, uh, all of my coding um, uh, exercises on the on my PhD. Uh, we can uh, use log free uh, programming using unsafe Rust, uh, same day acceleration. I also use the this is in my crate. Uh, through the ND array. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, there is a white crate distribution uh, alternative for run distribution. Almost uh, every distribution are already there. Um, CUDA uh, offload for fractional data generation where we can um, get the benefits of the, of the CUDA course because this um, this is a, a framework. This is a different framework to generate um, fractional processes. This is the Davis Hart uh, family of generators, uh, parallel path generation, and of course, this zero cost abstraction. Mm, so, so what is available in the in the crate? There are a lot of uh, processes already implemented. Uh, these are the main categories, so diffusions, jumps, volatility models. 
what is uh, more suitable for uh, market um, modeling and of course the, the bit more easier uh, discrete processes like this autoregressive uh, uh, AR and GARCH models for volatility uh, modeling. So there are also some, some numerical and uh, calibration framework. So uh, general uh, stochastic differential equation integrator uh, optimization frameworks um, and and sense and uh, and some tool to measure uh, sensitivity through myo and derivatives but is actually a very good uh, tool in in uh, stochastic uh, calculus so we can uh, understand how the the random noise can behave or or what is the impact of the random noise for the different asset prices. So this is kind of sensitivity, sensitivity through the, the random noise. Um, after a while, I, I also uh, wanted to expand my library to be a bit more general. And I also uh, introduced some quantitative pricing toolkit. So, so in the library also available some, some pricing uh, and some uh, calibration tool for implied volatility surface, um, option price modeling, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, uh, I also uh, implemented some more general frameworks. Um, so one is, uh, is a normal process generator family. Uh, so actually, if you know the coherence structure of a process, and if it's a, it's a member of a isonormal process, so it can be generated uh, with a very general framework. It's also using this uh, FFTB-based um, uh, Davis Hard uh, generation um, algorithm for uh, efficient uh, something. There are also another maybe plan on the method, this Cholevsky decomposition method to generate stochastic processes, but but the time complexity is much uh, higher like this uh, FFT based. Um, uh, there is also a generic uh, stochastic differential equation solver and, uh, and the generic ITO transformation engine. It is a uh, already able to handle the, the bit more general stuff. So not only the diffusion version, so it is also uh, able to handle the, the jump diffusion processes. Uh, I also want to improve it and extend with the fractional uh, version. And, uh, and actually this is my roadmap for the future. I want to uh, introduce more CUDA and maybe Meta support in the future. Uh, I want to finish my my Copula uh, module, but is uh, very useful for different statistical analysis, uh, improving the Myelin derivates uh, for more sensitivity uh, measurements, and and maybe in the future I will uh, introduce a Python binding for um, non Rust users. Um, as I mentioned, uh, the library available open source on GitHub. Uh, API documentation is available on uh, DocsRS, uh, but um, it's, not, it's uh, not the final version currently. And we also have a Discord channel uh, in the Rust DD open source community. So yeah, thanks for your attention and. Uh, yeah. Well, um, thank you, Daniel. I so there is a question in Q and A. It says, "How would you implement metal support? Is there a metal was great?" Uh, no, currently there is no metal support. Uh, currently, uh, only there is a CUDA support. Uh, I was using uh, um, native uh, CUDA uh, code using uh, QDARK. Okay, uh, I also have a short question. Um, what is the reception of um, these developments in the industry? Because uh, 
maybe not there are not many people using Rust now, or but maybe you're like you're more connected to them. So can can you tell us tell us more about? So so my experience that um, the companies always want to seek uh, Rust developers as employee to get uh, a Rust project as an agency is much more uh, uh, tough. Uh, but uh, but there are um, more and more. Um, opportunity to get the Rust job. So so it is very promising. Mm 